Welcome to my morning routine. I usually get up around 7 a.m. or at least that's when I always set my alarm. Most of the time after I wake up, I will just lay in bed for an additional 30 minutes just watching reels or YouTube shorts, which honestly is a really bad habit that I should probably break. And once I get out of bed, the very first thing that I do is I go to put in my contacts. I just have really, really bad vision and I can't see anything without my contacts. So that is definitely the first and then I will go get my coffee. I wish I could say that I make this beautiful, aesthetic looking coffee every single day but in reality I just drink my coffee black and then I will sit on the couch and this is my me time sometimes I will journal I'll have time with the Lord I go to the gym or sometimes like I did today just watch some Judge Judy I didn't realize that she came back after the pandemic and so I have just been watching her and binging all of her show now that I'm all out of the shower this is like my little makeup nook. Like I feel like I do all of my skincare and my makeup right here, right beside my bed because I have this beautiful bay window. I'm gonna start off with my skincare routine before I do my makeup and my hair. So recently I've been using this little device right here. So this is the Amiro. It has a little bit of a long name. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but it's the Amiro R1 Pro Facial RF Skin Tightening Device. But this is really cool because whenever you're using your regular skincare, it's usually not penetrating all the way into your skin, you know, whenever you're putting it on, it usually just stays at the surface, but there's so much more there. And so this uses a heat technology to penetrate into the deepest level of your skin. There's two different settings on this. So there's one that is wrinkle fading and anti-aging radio frequency. And then the other one is firming and lifting. So I like to use the firming and lifting one. That's just my preference. And it's actually pretty cool that they use radio frequency and heat technology to just really get in there because you'll see almost an immediate difference. Like you'll notice that my skin looks tighter and then also it almost like lifts my skin. So I'm going in with the Amiro Hydrating Moisturizing Serum Gel. So this is just so that there's less friction and it'll vibrate whatever it's on, which is kind of cool. And I'll just keep bringing it up like this. I really like to focus around my smile lines. I feel like when I get older, I'm gonna have the worst smile lines ever. And it doesn't hurt at all. Like it's not too hot or anything like that. It's just a little warm. And uh, you just feel like these little tingles. And once I'm all done, I just like to wipe off the sides cause sometimes the gel can kind of get stuck around there. But that's it for my skincare. I just love the way that my skin looks after I do it. I feel like it literally looks lifted. So if you guys are interested in this, uh, this little four in one device, I will put it down in the description box. I'll link it with a promo code down there. I cannot wait to get my hair done. So I have an appointment in two days, but I've been trying to practice wedding makeup because I am doing my own makeup. So... <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm gonna do like a full practice today, but I've been getting products and all this stuff just to like mess around with it. This would be the time in my morning routine where I would do something with my hair. I'm just not feeling it today. Now it's time to pick out my outfit. I'll be honest, I feel like recently all I've been wearing are leggings and crewnecks. And so today I definitely wanted to switch it up. I have a pretty busy day ahead of me. So I picked out these jeans from Abercrombie. I love the crisscrossed cinched waist on these. And then I just paired it up with a simple green bodysuit. Now this part of my day, pretty much it varies. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. Well, not after I do my makeup, but you know what I mean? Like sometimes I'll go to the gym. Also, I think I got foundation right here. But yeah, sometimes I will immediately start going to work and I sort of lump in wedding planning with work because we're not paying a wedding planner. And so I just kind of feel like I'm taking that on myself. I'm gonna show you <laughs> my office and I do not want any judgment, okay? This is me being real. Like even over here, we just have random flowers. In the hallway, I'm being real with you guys, so I don't want to hear any judgment. It's a mess. I am fully aware of that. <laughs> so these are little flower garlands, so they're gonna go up on the flower arch. I just need to put them away. So this is what I've been dealing with. Even Alex came over last night and he was like, Courtney, like, I'm starting to get stressed and I don't even live here. And I was like, how do you think I feel? I hate clutter. I hate things being in places. It just drives me bonkers. And so before I start work, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. 
maybe not specifically in here because I, I don't have a place to put the flowers. So let's just clean up out here for a little bit before I start work. If you guys have any advice on where I should store this wedding stuff, I am all ears, please. It's just, it's hard because some of it I still need to access. So part of me is like tempted to just go get a storage unit, but I need to be able to access it pretty readily. Of Like it needs to be readily available. I am very much a budget bride and we're making it work. So that's about it for my morning routine. Um, if you guys um, want to check out that facial device that I showed, I will have that link down below. I'm super thankful that they sponsored today's video. That's about it. Man, did I miss making videos. I'm just so happy to be back. I've probably said that a million times, but I am. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.